and here it is today. And you're telling me, Patrick, that this skill has a chance of competing against Milwaukee and DeWalt. Yes. <laughs> Set, go. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, family. <laughs> That's old school skill. He too fight. Why? I suck. <laughs> So here's what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be testing. It's the Battle of the Reds. Daniel's hand. Milwaukee versus Skill Impact Drivers. 12-volt drills, 18-volt drills, hacksaws, Skill versus Milwaukee. All right, so now we got one and a half inch speed bits. You guys, this uh, Milwaukee brush list against the Skill brush list, these are very comparable, right? This is an entry-level Milwaukee tool uh, up against the skill. So we're gonna make sure our clutches aren't on. So make sure you're in drill mode. We're in both speed one, Wait. drill mode, and I'm ready when you are. I know, I just don't want this thing to freaking fly out of my hands. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, shit. Oh my <laughs> God, Stanley. <laughs> I didn't hit you. Yeah, you did, look at my hand. <laughs> All right, well, let's stop. Dude, let's look at where have you're- Have you ever used a drill? Just before we start, <laughs> can I ask you that? Obviously, we know that this is a complete opposite end of the spectrum. We're just saying, can a, I don't know the price off the top of my head, but can a, you know, $100 impact go up against a $200 impact? And just what are the results? Okay, A, you're I dealing with a self-feeding bit, I right? So this is dog. pulling itself through. The more you push, you're probably doing less. Okay, all right. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start over here now then, away from you. All right, Why don't you get down that way a little bit more? There's a knot here, hold on. I, I was pushing hard. Uh -oh. It's okay, I started in reverse. So, <laughs> okay. all right, ready, One, set, set, go. go. All right, we'll switch. We'll just put this bit in because we might have a bad bit on that one. It didn't look like you were grabbing right. Mm -hmm. One and a half. So maybe it wasn't me then? Well, the first time it was, dude, you are reckless. We're not bashing on either brand. And I said, think of it this way. You've got a fresh kid just getting into the industry and he needs some of these tools, but he can't afford it. Can he afford a skill and will it perform enough to help that person at least get their career launched, to get started? And this stems from a true story that you experienced at Harbor Freight, right? Yep. Oh yeah, the kid that came up to us. A, a kid came up to us at Harbor Freight, we were checking out and he had a few bowers in his hand and he recognized uh, Stanley or me and he said, oh hey, you guys are the tool guys. He's like, yeah. And he, he was so proud to get his first tool. Even though it was a Harbor Freight, you know, a lot of you guys out there are gonna bash him, say, oh yeah, that sucks. To him, hey man, it was a tool that you could create with. Any tool is a great tool. Whatever's on your budget, you know, we're just trying to help you guys maximize that budget. He's actually really picky. I'll tell you guys something. He's actually really picky about how we do these things. We pick you with me. Oh! I'm a guy that just grabs a tool and get it done. Another clause for using the Tools X Studio, you're sending me that video clip for TikTok. <laughs> Last time we did that, you guys, it got like 21 million views. Tool fights are hard, they stress me out, man, because there's so many variables. Yeah, so. But yeah, you're right. I mean, you can't do this in the store, so. All right. All right, so remember, just let it feed through, dude. Okay. We're on speed two. Oh, oh, oh one. there's one, okay. One, two, three, go. So on this go round, I've got the Milwaukee in my hand and Van has the skill in his hand. Dude, you're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> Wow, that's warm. Okay, so man, the skill held its own on that one. Dude, that was neck Did and I get neck. through? Are you even through? Oh, I almost got through. Dude, Dude I, thought we, I, I won through. then. 
Just barely. We're gonna do that again. Milwaukee won. I won. Just barely. Alright. Okay, let's try it one more time. We wanna switch tools? Oh my god, they kick back. <laughs> I hate tool fights! Dude, that kills your wrist for like weeks. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright. Oh. Hey, I still feel the skill did pretty well. Oh, that went well. For, you know, now you're right working on the money difference. I mean, they're both built well, but. You know what I like about the skill that you don't see on many uh, DIY ones is the, uh, the metal chuck. They're trying to give you those professional features and everything, you know, at a, a great price. Patrick, real quick, a brushless motor is actually a digital motor, is that right? That's correct. Brushless is what we use in the power tool industry, and it's probably not a good way to describe it, because all it says is no brushes. Wow. And consequent to that, most manufacturers, including ourselves, say quite rightly it's more efficient because it has no brushes. But in fact, no brushes is just one little detail. Look at this motor. Now, what do you see? You see two wires going in. That is because it goes in and there's two connectors that provide commutating that make sure there's a rotational direction. Going. I'm sorry, what? So if you take one of those apart, remember the old motors, you looked inside, when you pulled the trigger, you looked inside, a little bit of sparking came out, especially if the, the, the tool was kind of old. Right. That's because you had the two brushes. Remember brushless? Those are two brushes that contacted this wheel with alternate contacts. It's the only reason the thing would actually spin in one direction and then the other. This is kind of like three phase power coming in so it's alternating which set of coils are being energized and that's what causes the motor to work. You're gonna start the cut. Once you make that groove cut, then you're gonna push in and forward and hold, you wanna hold these, bond these two together, so watch. Dude, I'm telling you though, man, I'm kind of impressed with this skill. I actually like the balance on this thing better. One, two, three, go. So we did a head-to-head -head race and felt like the vibration through the board kind of obscured the results. So then I just went ahead and did it individually. I'll try it with this. Yeah, skill. oh, I still think the skill's better in this, this, this scenario. The skill was just smoother to me. The skill's, skills better. Nice. the skill's better. The skill is better. Try to walk you again. I'm telling you. Here's skill, why the skill seems smoother. The skill is smoother, and that's because. Of, sorry, go ahead. Oh, that's because of skill saw. What are you talking about? Skill saw owns skill. So that. that technology makes its way over to this, just like they own Ego. So Ego makes its way into the batteries. You know, there's a lot of cross, you know, uh, platform engineering happening. Three, two. So if it looks like I'm working it, I am. And if it looks like Dan's just kind of relaxing, I think he is. He's running the skill and I'm running the Milwaukee. I was pushing hard. Pushing I was pushing hard. harder. Okay, yeah, classic example, you guys. That's why you lost. Because you got sometimes it's really it's I mean we don't make this stuff up. You have to <laughs> you have to let the tool do the work. That's why it's there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why work harder? But I'm gonna say this little skill 12 volt is very impressive. I mean, I love this thing. Obviously, this has a bigger feature set. Well, it has a metal I, chalk. How did I but, beat you with the skill the first time when I was pushing harder? And then when I went with the Milwaukee and I was pushing harder. You didn't. It was a tie at the beginning. With the skill, I won. There's a tie. I won with the skill. Here's just the end of our video. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear that music? All right, guys, that's all we got for you today. We just had some fun. Let you guys decide. You guys tell us who won. I mean, we were basically we're talking about the king of the ring versus the king of DIY, going head to head, just seeing how they do. Skills come a long way. They've got a whole new line of tools come out. 
they've revamped all of their tools and that's why I thought it was interesting to try to uh, to see how far they've come in this situation and just share it with you so I don't yeah. know I don't know who won so don't rip on Stanley guys for his bad usage of tools because he's not normally like that he's a real smart guy I think you messing with me a little bit but <laughs> no, we're good no. dude we're good I, I grew up on farm tractors that's all yeah yeah man but I get I mean all different materials sometimes you have to push harder sometimes you don't I mean a lot of applications you just want to feel what's working in that particular application We'll see you guys That's next time. That's my neighbors. Time. God bless, go get them. I mean, this is really top in the industry. So we're going the top Milwaukee versus Skill. Yes. And what's the case the gist? Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're both on the fastest speeds possible. We're gonna run three through, and then we'll swap, and then run three through again. We did this test twice, switching the tools between us. First time I had the Milwaukee, the second time right now, I've got the Skill in my hand, and every time we did it, the Milwaukee won on this one. Okay, so what did we learn? The Milwaukee's definitely faster, it's, right? It's faster, but is that really that important? Right, that's up to you guys. I mean, it, this one actually feels pretty good. Uh, no, I, I mean, thought that one actually felt really good. As far as absorbing the impact, I thought that really did a good job. Yeah. Plus it has a skinnier grip. I mean, I'm not gonna get into you know favorable grip types, but I know that the M12 does have a wider I grip. Did, I didn't actually... Yeah, but I do like the uh, ring lamp skill. But the Milwaukee M12 is my go-to also. I mean, I love that platform. I think it's a great platform. All right, next. All right, next.